Wait, 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 wait. Before you guys go crazy, hear me out. Hear me out. Calm down. Hear me out. What do you do, YouTube? It's your boy, Marcus. We are back with another video. And today, Rodney McCloy, the new safety for the Indianapolis Colts, did say a championship is destined with the Indianapolis Colts. Now, you guys, if you don't know, he's a former Eagle, former Super Bowl champion. He played with the Eagles, played under Frank Wright before, even though it wasn't, you know, a long time while he was there. But I will say Frank Reich is definitely one of the reasons why he decided to join the Colts. And I do have a few Colts from the presser that was held uh, yesterday as of today's day of this upload. It was held yesterday with Rodney. A few questions was asked. And one of those questions was concerning why did he join the Colts? He specifically said he joined Indy because of the players, the Colts in general, and what they've done under Frank Reich the last couple of seasons. Now, of course, there are a lot of Colts haters that think that it was an abysmal year and time under Frank Wright because they really haven't done nothing. They barely won a division. They barely won two games in the playoffs when they did make it. And yeah, they never made a championship game. Of course, they might think that. But some players, they see making the playoffs as a big deal. Winning the division, you know, having a positive record in consecutive seasons, that's a big deal developing talent, have been competitive in general. Most of some players that come from teams that aren't competitive at all and they see the edge and what we can bring the potential for the team, all of those play a factor into joining an organization, a new team. They see that. They can see the potential. They see all these things. A lot of things plays into a role when certain teams, of course, money is the biggest issue when you're trying to go to a new team, but there's other factors that play into hand when you're joining a new team. And of course, having a former coach that you used to play under, that can be a huge bonus going into a new team as well. So he did say that. Also, he did state, he said, I think with a few team, a few pieces, a championship is destined. He is talking about the Indianapolis Colts. And I totally agree. It may not be tomorrow. It may not be next week. It may not be next season, but the Colts can definitely win a Super Bowl. We are pieces away, just a few. This team is very competitive. Even though we didn't make the playoffs last year, we put up a heck of a fight with the, with the quarterback that gave us a roller coaster. We put up a heck of a fight. Even though our defense was getting aired out, we still was top five in turnovers. That just shows you with a good defensive coordinator and a QB that can know how to manage the football, this team can go further than eight wins. It's just as simple as that. Just saying. I'm just saying. You ask Stephon Gilmore, we talking football. You add some talent on our offense with, with Jonathan Taylor and Matt Ryan, we talking some football. You know what I mean? So I, I totally agree with this quote. You probably don't have to. I know it's probably a long shot in your eyes, but hey, everyone's eyes can see differently. It is what it is at the end of the day. I know how you I know how the comment section is gonna look. I don't care. Um also he states it says Ronnie, you say he says he had to have a lot of conversation about a specific role. He says he should just to add value. He's a, he's excited to add his skill set and his leadership. And what's one thing this team needs is leadership. Did we lack it last year? Absolutely. freaking lutely. We lacked leadership last year. And he does have a good skill set. A lot of Colts fans wanted Honey Badger. I am one of them. My hand's raised. I am one of them. I did want Honey Badger. But Rodney was definitely one of the best safeties available on the market. I think he's just as good as Honey Badger. As I'm saying, he's better. Am I saying he's, he's, but I'm saying he's just as good. And he was cheap. He can play just about the same role as Honey Badger if he was here. Now, of course, Honey Badger is better. But I think Rodney was one of the best safeties in the market. I think he's very talented. I do. And I'm not just saying that because we signed him. I'm being completely honest. He's a very talented safety. Very talented safety. And I think his championship experience and his leadership role could play a huge factor going into this defense next year. Um, he definitely played uh, free safety and strong safety. They talked about that. Uh, that's why he stated he don't know if he's going to start yet or he don't know his exact role because he know we have Kari Willis and Julian Blackman who's looking to have a very good season next year because, you know, everything in the past is in the past. New new beginnings going into next season. 
that's a nice safety duo for the Colts. Adding in Roddy is definitely a huge increase as well. He said, uh, McCloyd says that he thinks the championship experience adds to the foundation that the Colts have already built. This defensive line is stacked. The linebacker core is pretty good with the Maniac there. The safety core is very nice, adding in Rodney as well. In the cornerback room, if you add another veteran corner that isn't Xavier Rhodes, it's a huge increase. It's an increase. We have a foundation. We can be really good. We can win the AFC South. This is what I'm telling Colts fans. We can win the AFC South with this roster. You just cannot aim too high. Aim for the AFC South title, the, the title we haven't won in a while. We haven't won in a while. We need this. We need to win the AFC South. This is the confidence that we will gain if we win the AFC South. That is momentum going into the playoffs. Winning the division. Simple as that. That is momentum you can carry. We're going to keep going with the quotes. Um, he said, talking about Frank Wright, he said, Frank's a great coach. That was obvious during a short time in Philly, but he was the big reason we won the title there. He's excited to stand alongside with him. He's a player's coach. He gets it. He understands him from, he understands his time in the game. We all know Coach Frank Wright is a player coach. And a lot of people, including Rodney, think he was a huge role going into winning that Super Bowl. Hey, I kind of agree with that. Carson Wentz went out with that injury. Nick Foles led the offense. Nobody's seen that coming. And I think having a player's coach that motivates you to go out there and think that you can do just as good as a starter, I think that plays a factor. And the fact that Rodney's here and he's excited and motivated to go out there and play some good football for a coach, I am all in. I do think the Colts can win the AFC South. Hopefully the quotes that I've just read can change your decision if you have not thinking that the Colts can win the AFC South. But you let me know in the comment section who else do the Colts need to go out there and get. I know... There's a lot of players that are still available on the market, but I will say the market is ruined thanks to the Jacksonville Jaguars. They broke the market with that wide receiver and that big payday. There's a lot of people out there still looking for money because they think they're better than what the Jaguars acquired and what they paid them. Totally get that. That's why we're not pushing the needle. But you guys let me know who else you think we should go out there and get to add to this championship-built roster that can go out there and win it. You let me know all these things. You let me know your thoughts about Rodney. Uh, if you're an Eagles fan, you let me know about him too. Uh, this is Marcus, and until next time, you've been Culture Shock.